Welcome back to the uh, dirty house shop in this case. And I wanted to show you guys this really sweet motors that I picked up. It's not really a build it project. This is like a potential for building a project. And these motors that I've been picking up, I, about five years ago, I got a bunch of these and saved some and sold them off. Um, and these will work really well for alternative power projects like wind turbines or uh, water generator turbines, that sort of thing. And uh, they're, they should work a lot better than the like the DC treadmill motors that you see a lot of the time that people are buying for the same purpose because these are permanent magnet brushless three-phase alternators and uh, they're fairly high wattage. This one here is 9.1 amps at 230 volts, which is obviously about 2,000 watts. So that's a pretty sweet setup. But I, I get these from a friend of mine. Uh, they come out of old AC units. I think what happens is these controllers that come with them uh, break and then... They, they changed the motors out, and, but the motor itself is still good. It's just the controller that's probably bad. And I believe that these controllers have a converter in them that takes the single phase input and turns it up to three phase to run the motor because three phase is just more efficient. And they're doing everything they can to make these motors efficient, uh, even though it does say one phase on the side. It's a three phase motor as far as I'm able to tell. So uh, to test these, I, I've got a three phase rectifier here. I'll show you that in just a minute. I connect the wires up together. I put this in DC mode here and you should be able to see if I just spin it with my drill gun here, it should be showing about 40 volts. It's a little over 40 volts there. So obviously it's putting out a good amount of power there. Um, and then I test each leg individually as well across the motor here by putting this in AC voltage now because it's not being rectified anymore. And I test each pair of these legs basically the same way. Let me get my leads in there. And then I do this. It should show 30 volts there. 30 volts there. And then 30 volts on the last leg here. All right. So obviously all the legs are working. Everything's functioning. I've, I've tested the motor. It spins nice and smooth. Um, you can feel that it's got a magnet in there, of course. Um, the bearings are good. There's not there's occasional little spots of rust on the motors, but they're pretty good. And uh, some of them come with the, the controllers stuck on the back. Some of them are separate. Some of them don't have controllers, but all the motors basically operate on the same principle. And some of them are different sizes. I've got bigger and smaller ones. But uh, they should work really well for those, those alternative power projects. This is the uh, three-phase rectifier. I just picked this one up off Amazon. Um, I haven't had a chance to test these for the long term, so I'm not sure about durability, but it doesn't look like there's anything here that could really break. Uh, they're nice, it looks like they're nicely sealed with an epoxy here. But basically, you take your three AC legs out of the motor, you connect them to those three leads, and then you get DC power out of these. You get a positive and a negative lead on that. And so I'll have a link for this in my description below, and hopefully one here on the screen over my left shoulder. So uh, hope the, uh, hopefully some of you guys will pick these motors up for your uh, alternative power projects and uh, build some pretty sweet stuff out of them. I just don't like to see them getting uh, going bad uh, or getting thrown away, I should say. Uh, it just seems like a waste to me to take something that's this cool and, and throw it away. So uh, keep on building and uh, have fun. Thanks for watching.